the first step is to open Classroom and click on one of your classes. Click the Classwork tab. You can see when assignments are posted or when they are due. Notice none of these assignments have due dates. This is what the students see in their classroom to-do list. All of their assignments are in the no due date category. Click on the down arrow next to no due date. To see the difference due dates make to students, back in the teacher's classroom, click create. Scroll down and click assignment. Type a title for the assignment. Click the down arrow next to no due date. To add a due date, click the down arrow next to no due date. Click a date. Click assign. In this example, there is no grade category chosen, so Google lets you know that, in case you want to assign a grade category. Click assign. In the teacher's classwork tab, you can see that the due date appears with the assignment. In the student's classroom to-do list, assignments are now categorized by date due. Click the down arrow next to no due date. Here you can see that the students might have a difficult time being organized with their due dates if there aren't any. Click the down arrow next to this week. Now students see what is due this week in their classroom to-do list. Click the up arrow to collapse any open section. To further clarify how a student's classroom to-do list helps keep them organized, go back to the teacher's classroom and click create. Click assignment. Type a title. Click the down arrow next to no due date. Click the down arrow next to no due date. Click a later date for a long-term assignment. Click assign. Again, this example has no grade category chosen. Click assign. The assignment with a later due date is in the teacher's classroom assignments. In the student's view of the classroom to-do list, Students can now be more organized, since they will know what their upcoming and long-term due dates are. Click on the down arrow next to next week. The student's to-do list shows the assignments broken down by due dates. Click the up arrow to collapse that section. With a few clicks, you've helped your students become more organized. That's it. You're done.